Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is our second video, and we're talking about buying on margin, everybody. And to remember what's the concept about, you expect prices to go up, so you end up buying today. And once prices go up, you will sell in the future to gain profit. Now, hoping that you'd gain more profit, of course, you need to buy more today so that you sell more in the future. And the only way to have access to buying more securities or financial instruments today would be borrowing money. So buying on margin would be using your own money with some loan or borrowed amount to buy some shares today or other financial instruments. And hopefully in the future the prices will go up and of course you'll have a profit on that. And at maturity you pay your loan back. Now, we have talked about the initial margin, and the initial margin would be simply the amount of your own money divided by the total investment. However, the margin will always change as long as the price changes. And I'll explain this concept using the formulas on the whiteboard. So, again, it's buying on margin. The price given was 400, and I was able to buy 20 shares. Now, the loan amount is 4,000. And to calculate the margin other than the one formula we have used before can be used with this formula margin would be assets minus liabilities divided by the value of stock. And of course assets minus, minus liabilities can be substituted with equity. So margin is the equity over value of stock. Now, as I said, the price will change and the margin will change once the price will change. Let's consider that the price is now $380 and I need to calculate my new margin. And using this formula, which is assets minus liabilities over value of stock, my assets will be simply the price of stock times the number of shares and my liabilities will be the loan amount of 4000 The value of stock in the denominator is also the new price times the number of shares. So if I end up using this formula, my new margin will be 47 percent and you can notice that my margin went down the initial margin was 50 percent and suddenly it went down to 47 percent so in buying on margin once the prices go down which means that prices are not moving the way you are expecting and in this case you might lose money so as the price goes down my expectations are wrong and the margin is also going down now the question is, how far can this margin go down? Now, of course it's... I don't think it's the right time to answer this call. So, let's continue with the material. And in this case, the margin went down to 47%. And of course, there's a limit. You cannot go down to a certain amount. For example, imagine a margin of zero. And this shows that the equity is zero right now. And this declares bankruptcy. And it's not allowed to have a margin going really down. That's why the broker always sets a maintenance margin. So the maintenance margin is set by the broker. And once the maintenance margin is broken, that is once the margin you have is suddenly lower than the maintenance margin, you might receive a margin call. Now, let's suppose that the prices suddenly went down. Now, maybe they went down to, let's say, $350 or $300. Then, I really don't know. And to find out how low I can go, I need to calculate the price that will reach this maintenance margin. So. Let's say now that I need to find how low the price can go. And like I said before, the maintenance margin is set by the broker. So let's say my broker will set a maintenance margin of, let's say, 40%. So this is set by my broker. So everything will be okay as long as the margin will not fall below this 40%. Now, right now the price went down 
and my margin was still above the 40%. Now let's see how far can the price go down before I get this margin. Now let's calculate that. Of course, the formula is the same and maintenance margin is assets minus liabilities over value of stock and now I need to find one unknown which is the price that it is re reached once I re get this maintenance margin so let's say it's an unknown P and I have 20 stocks so my assets will be 20 P minus my liabilities of course 4000 and the value of stock is simply 20 P and these amounts should be equal to 0 0.4 now using this formula I will end up getting a price of $333.3. So now as long as the price is going down, if it does not reach this $333, I'll be safe. Now once the price goes down, I need to get a margin call. So let's suppose that my price is suddenly fell down to $300. So what's going to happen? Now, what actually happened is that my price is below the amount that gets the maintenance margin. So what's going to happen? Well, I really don't know. Now, I'm quite confused. My, margin, my price is below this $333. And what's going to happen? Let's answer this call. Hello? Hello, Professor Ramadan. Hi. This is your broker. Oh, hello. How is it going? Well, you're way below your maintenance margin. That's how's it going. Oh, uh, really? I didn't even know. Yeah, you need to check that up. Well, uh, by how much did I pass by, my maintenance margin? Well, I think it fell down to 300. So, yes, I am below the maintenance margin. Exactly, now, exactly. Of course, because I fell down and I'm below the maintenance margin, I think I need to add more cash for you so that I can maintain this margin. Yeah, please so, do so at your own convenience. Well, luckily, tomorrow is Tuesday, and yes, I will add some money. So, uh, no worries, I'll handle this. You'll get your maintenance margin back. You'll have the 40%. All right, that's great, sir. Okay, um, uh, thanks again, and uh, have a good time. Thank you for your time. Okay, good, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Now, I was really shocked. Now, this broker already knew what happened, and... It's true, you cannot go down this maintenance margin. And my expectations are wrong so far. I expected prices to go up, and all what's happening is prices going down, and I'm, I'm not really happy about that. So far, my investment is not doing well. Now, hopefully in the future, prices will still be retained so that at maturity, let's say after a period of time, I will end up gaining when the prices suddenly go above this $400 because again the concept of buying on margin would be expecting PN to be higher than P0 so to make any profit I need to have a price greater than 400 now in the next video I'll explain what's gonna happen at maturity because many things change right now I'm below my maintenance margin yet I need to add more cash to restore and I need to wait till the future to see what's going to happen with the price of shares and hopefully they'll go up. So everyone, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Hope you, you found the lesson beneficial for everybody. So have a good time. Now everybody, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So on the bulletin above, I have everything written. So this is tuned to finance. Thanks for watching. My Facebook page would be facebook.com slash or tune to finance. YouTube channel is Azat Ramadan and the Twitter is dash iz1071. Now everybody, I hope you join my Facebook page, you follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good night everyone. So tune to finance.